Hey everyone, it's Chris at Agoric. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get up and running with Agoric uh, by setting up your first DAP. Um, I am in a brand new fresh installation of Ubuntu 2204 LTS. Um, the instructions in our tutorial are assuming that you're using Ubuntu, um, but if you want to try this on a Mac or using WSL, the Windows subsystem for Linux, that should work too. Um, I've done nothing to customize this installation other than installing Google Chrome. Uh, I've got Visual Studio Code on here, which uh, we're not going to need. All the code's written in this example. Uh, and then I've put on this very attractive wallpaper in the background. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to install some prerequisites. So we'll get a terminal window open here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is to get curl installed. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run the update fix missing command. Uh, otherwise, if you try and install curl, you'll get an error. There we go. And now we'll install curl. All right, next thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and install NVM, uh, the Node Version Manager. We're going to use that to install a specific version of Node that we'll need for this uh, example. Um, in this example, we want to use Node Version 18.16.0, so we'll go ahead and install that one. And <clears throat> um, some of these commands may take a little while to run uh, to pull down some bits. On the longer running commands, I'll be sure to pause the recording so you don't have to sit here and watch. Um, this one should go pretty quick. All right, now we've got Node installed. We can verify that just by checking the Node version. Uh, the next component we're going to install is Yarn. We'll first run... Oh, wrong command. We want to run the core pack enable command and then we'll check to make sure yarn is working by checking the version and sure enough it is. And finally our last prerequisite we're going to go ahead and install docker. All right now we've got docker added to our GPG list. We'll go ahead and install it. Now this download will take a few seconds, so I'll go ahead and pause the recording and catch you on the backside when it's done. All right, now we've got Docker installed. The next thing we're going to do is go ahead and add our user account into the Docker group. And then because we changed group memberships, we need to get those reevaluated. Once we've got our group memberships reevaluated, we can make sure that Docker got installed okay by running the Hello World test sample. And when you see this output, you know Docker is working just like it should be. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and install our sample DAP. All right, to install our sample DAP, we're going to go ahead and run this yarn create command. And this will take a moment to download. So just like before, I'll go ahead and stop the recording uh, and catch you guys back when all this is done. All right, so now we've got our DAP pulled down. We're going to go into the folder that it downloaded into, and we're going to run a yarn install command. And again, this command will take a few minutes. Uh, there's a few bits to download, so I'll go ahead and pause the recording and catch you guys when this is done. All right, now our yarn install command is wrapped up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start a local Agoric blockchain here by running our yarn start docker command. The first time you run this, it's going to have to pull down some containers, and this will take a few moments. So just like before, I'll pause the recording and catch you back here when it's done. 
Okay, once we get a Docker up and running, we're gonna go ahead and check the logs. And you're gonna see when uh, these containers first start, uh, you get a lot of text coming out of the logs. Uh, but after a while, they begin to settle down and you'll start to see these blocks getting committed. Uh, when you see these block numbers being committed, that's your sign that everything is working the way it should be. So you can go ahead and hit Control C and get out of the logs. The next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is start our smart contract. So we'll go ahead and start that. And while that's running in the background, we're going to go ahead and open up our browser and we're going to get the Kepler Wallet plugin installed. We're going to go to Kepler.app, K E P L R. We're going to go ahead and install the Kepler Wallet. Um, I'm using Chrome, so I'm going to pick the Chrome extension. But if you're using a different browser, or if you're on a mobile device or a tablet, you can choose the option most appropriate. All right. Now, when I'm faced with this UI right here, create a new wallet or import an existing wallet, what I want to do is import an existing wallet. And I'm going to do that by using a recovery phrase or private key. And on this next screen, it's asking me for that uh, recovery phrase or mnemonic phrase. If I go back to my terminal window where I just ran my yarn start contract command, I get that phrase, that series of 24 words right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and copy that, come back into my browser, and just paste it all in and hit import. Then Kepler is going to ask me for a name and a password for my wallet. So I'll give it a name, give it a nice easy password, something easy to remember. All right. And when I'm asked to select chains, I can just keep these default selections and hit save. And now I've got Kepler installed. All right, so now let's go ahead, let's get our app up and running. To do that, we're going to run a yarn start UI command. When you run this command, you'll get a link to localhost 5173. You can just right click this and open link. And when you do, you'll see the UI of our application here. Uh, now, in this application, you can pick up to three different items that you want to purchase. These are captured as NFTs. Uh, we have scrolls, maps, and potions. Uh, but before we can go ahead and uh, buy any of these items, we first need to connect our wallet. So we'll hit the Connect Wallet button. Kepler is going to pop up and ask us to approve this connection. We will go ahead and approve it. All right, now we can go ahead and make an offer. Now, there's a couple rules here. Um, we need to use at least uh, one quarter IST. So notice if I change my bid to something lower, I get a red here indicating that I'm not providing enough IST to fund my purchase. And then I can pick up to three different items. So notice if I had a potion here, well, now I've got two scrolls, a map, and a potion. That's four. Um, that's too many items. So I'll go ahead and get one of each, one scroll, one map, one potion. I'm going to give 0.25 IST. Now let me go ahead and make this offer. When I make this offer, Kepler is going to pop up. Now if I want to see the details of the offer, I can expand this out. I can see, all right, um, I'm offering up three different, uh, or I'm offering up 0.25 IST for three different places or a scroll, a potion, and a map. All right, so let's go ahead and approve this transaction. When I approve it, you'll see a couple things happen. Uh, you'll see my IST balance has gone down by one quarter IST, and I am now the proud owner of a scroll, a potion, and a map. And there you go. Just like that, you've got your first Agoric Dapp up and running. Remember, if you have any questions, if you get stuck, 
or you just want to learn more, you can use the links at the beginning of the walkthrough tutorial to join us for office hours, hit us up on Discord or Twitter, or send an email to DevRel. Uh, this has been Chris from Agoric. Hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough. See you guys next time.